Hey, what's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly less talk. Disclaimer I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and entertainment purposes only. These are my opinions, okay? And it's just that. Now, today we are going to be discussing some Carmen and Corey, okay? We also got some Anna beating up Mariah Lynn's mom, okay? We got some Krishan, and we got Cardi. We got Bad Baby and Gypsy Rose, okay? So, yeah, we're going to be discussing all of this, and some of them are some updates, okay? So, please make sure to like this video before we continue. Okay, let's go. So, Carmen and Corey. Y'all already know the situation. I touch bases. I'm going to be keeping up talking about this. So just be prepared for the updates. All right. So Carmen went on her YouTube and she did a whole video expressing her feelings and details about things that went on. So I'm going to give y'all a little bit of what some of the notes that I took down and I'm going to talk about it because I just feel like this is a messy situation. They're married, they have kids, and once kids are involved, I just feel like it, it shouldn't be this messy. I feel like y'all should be adults and really come to some type of resolution because nobody got time for this for real, for real, in real life, okay? It's stressful. So we're going to get into some of the things. So Carmen made this video, right? Okay, so she's basically saying there's a lot of things that she never told and never was on the internet that people do not know about, but she didn't expose everything here, okay? Everything that she's talking about happened from last year, okay? um, Like around June to September or something like that when they fell off, okay? And she felt like she checked out. Now, paying attention more to herself, she claims she never been lazy because, you know, Corey said that she was lazy and didn't want to do nothing, etc., um, she basically saying her content is her passion. She stopped being, um, <clears throat> motivated with the content. So she had a lot going on in a relationship with the kids, her mom, the online stuff. So she was just checked out and she wasn't passionate about, you know, doing her content like that anymore. Okay. She felt like, um, she, um, needed a break. She stepped out of the marriage by texting someone, okay? She dealt with the consequences, she said. She was healing from how she was being treated as a woman from Corey. Corey put hands on her once he caught her texting the person. The text wasn't even sexual, she said. It was no link up. It was no convos like that. She didn't go to the hospital because she felt that it would have been an investigation on her face. She was already dealing with his cheating, the lying, the betrayal. Now he started the, uh, you know, a uh, deuce, okay? But admitted that they had their moments where both of them was toxic. Um, And, you know, she would shove him, slap him, or do stuff like that. Um, and she also admitted that cops were called on her at one point, but she's saying at that time when he put his hands on her and stuff, there was nothing provoked. He did it out of anger. Okay. And this is just something that she never saw in him. Okay. Now she says she stayed in Atlanta for 13 to 14 days. She started to feel like, um, since she was scared, she was doing whatever he said. Okay. Um, she comes home, she felt completely checked out, she thought it was better for her kids to stay with her mom, okay, and they were staying in, I think, Alabama, okay, um, she basically was protecting him, started to get emotional, she felt, um, she couldn't be a mom, so she started crying at this part of the video when she was talking about her being a mom, um, because she felt like she couldn't be a mom no more because she was dealing with too much with Corey and everything that was going on. Um, he was draining her basically <clears throat> with all of his bull crap. She didn't want to take um her frustration out on them because she caught herself and she apologized to her kids when she felt that she was taking it out on them at one point. She always had his back to the point she didn't have hers. Okay. Um, he told her to find somewhere to go because he had company coming. The kids was there. Okay. They was arguing. She said she had nowhere to go, and he said that's something that you need to figure it out. Okay. 
Um, she basically, basically she's saying he didn't care about the kids. She basically went back because there was a communication and it was really about the kids. She wanted to make sure that she can do by herself and she didn't need a man. And that's when she decided that she wanted to get her own spot and start everything all over. She mentioned him basically never keeping her name out of his mouth. He, she, he always speaks about her. Okay. Um, she didn't want to keep responding because she was drained. She got real emotional and mad about Corey speaking on her mom she kept a lot from her mom about him, and she wanted to protect them. Admit it to the immigrant stuff, I guess the marriage part, but um, she said that he said that he did it because he loved her. That's the reason why he married her. Um, her and her mother aren't on good terms um, after she found out everything, I'm guessing. Um, and Corey always wanted to check her phone to try to expose, um, expose her for likes. I believe everything that she said. Um, you can tell just by her energy and the way she's telling the story and stuff. If you know, you know. Okay. She said he don't help financially. She don't keep the kids away from him. He keeps the kids away from himself. Okay. And when she was talking um about certain things and certain key points, like um when she did the Tasha K interview. All right, let's talk about Tasha K and Corey interview. Okay, that was around three months ago. He started off lying to me, okay? He said he lost his virginity at seven years old to an eight-year-old girl on a playground, blames his parents for leaving porn around, porn access or whatever, um, and that's how he knew um, where to put the put it because Hush is like, how you know where to put it at seven? He said, I watch Orn, okay? Um, off the back, I already could tell that he seems like a narcissist and he seems like a liar, to me, in my opinion, from the outside looking in. It is what it is. Um, he was mad at the internet um, that, that they wasn't on his side, and he got angry. So I guess um, he talked about calling immigration on her, um, taking custody for the kids. Um, he was just being petty and a narcissist. He was being weird. He said he don't even deal with girls like that, like people think. I just feel like he a pathological liar, to be honest with y'all. Because, boy, you was cheating on Carmen, like, majority of the whole relationship in a marriage. And you talking about something you don't deal with girls like that, how people think you do. What? Boy, stop. Um, He basically was talking about, like, he built her, he molded her, and stuff like that. That's, like, narcissist talk. Like, who do you think you are, sir? Like, me and you, it was Carmen and Corey, not Corey and Carmen, baby. Okay, we was doing this together, and my money is your money, your money is my money, because we're making it together. So, I guess that he kept the money from her and everything else, so I guess she was just, you know, talking out on that. So, Carmen, I guess this was a comment in her under her video. Foul all the paperwork, cease and desist, restraining order, revenge, orange charges, primary custody, and everything else in between, and don't go back. Somebody says she liked the comment. Hopefully, she's already starting the process. So people are telling her, like, stop, put your foot down. This is the last straw, Carmen. Do not go back. Now, Carmen posted this up. This is a, a, allegedly her attorney. As many as you know, Carmen has endured unspeakable trauma, including doxing, revenge on, cyberbullying, threats, and resentless harassment. These actions not only violate her privacy and dignity, but also represent a gross infringement of her fundamental rights. Such behaviors cannot and will not be tolerated. We are determined to pursue all available legal rev avenues to ensure Carmen receives the justice and protection she rightfully deserves. Okay, so this is uh, allegedly, this is Carmen's attorney, and Carmen is reposting what the attorney is saying. As a victim of DV myself, I encourage anyone who has experienced similar injustice to come forward and seek help. Our doors are open and we are here to provide the legal guidance and support needed to navigate through these challenging circumstances. Okay? Open doors. Put the place with a G. Some, some fucking this way. And I apologize to Carmen face to face. No, I asked her a question first. I asked her, was, did you lie to me when you told me that you wasn't illegal? Like you didn't know that you wasn't illegal. And she said, no, she didn't lie. So I was like, thank you. And that's why I was so angry, you feel what I'm saying, when I found out. So I apologized to her about that. And when we back who we went to her house that night. We had sex that night. We was back good from that night, from that day on four. So everything that y'all kept seeing on her end, she was the one making me not like not say nothing. Like she don't want nobody to know that we good, whatever. So she was lying to y'all the whole entire time. 
And I'm saying this because it's like, for you to even get on here and even lie to even make your lies, you got to make it make sense. Okay, for one, okay, I don't know why, it just seemed like he a liar. Even when he was mentioning them getting intimate, the way he even paused to think about it, to, like, boy, why are you even putting that out there? Why would, Why do you think that being intimate with somebody means that y'all good, that y'all on good terms? Nah, that just means that y'all was horny and y'all just had some fun and y'all just did what y'all usually do. That's just what it is. You understand what I'm saying? So, Corey talking about some, oh, we had, you know, we was intimate that night and we was good on from there. No, that's what you thought because you had some cookie. Okay, but let's get into some more of the clips because he is, oh boy, delusional. Y'all gonna know why I was in the hospital. We gotta go ahead and clear that out. But tell me why I died and came back to life Saturday. In my city. I was on my, I passed out in line of the Ferris wheel with Bay. Hit my head on the concrete hard. But I passed out. I didn't have no posts. I rushed to the hospital, then they took me to Pensacola, Florida. So in the midst of that moment of me in the hospital, all of this shit happening in real time. I get on Instagram and I get up, up in the hospital and I hear this song. And the first thing I hear is all the lies. So you was in this traumatic experience where you died and came back to life, according to Corey. But you still had time to go on the phone to go on instagram to see what the hell was going on and you heard the song and it was lies <laughs> what a coincidence everybody was like okay so carmen's song came out dissing him putting some things out there exposing him now boom all of a sudden Corey is in a hospital bed with his girlfriend with some posts like he's good i ain't gonna hold y'all i want to just apologize for one thing i ain't gonna i'm gonna be dead ass under the child how angry I am and was at the moment, and the lie that was put out, it was like I was on demon time. Like, I just, I gotta prove my point. These, these lies, so it's like, what I did wasn't right. That's why I took the picture down in 10 minutes on Snapchat, as a piano child. But it get deeper than that. So it's like, it's time to take y'all on this, on, this, on this trip with me on YouTube. So he claims because this is not an excuse okay oh i was angry and i did it because i was so angry and i was on demon time boy sir ma'am you are the one that's gonna be really upset because now carmen's gonna be on demon time and your ass is gonna be getting some lawsuits pressing charges something is gonna be happening sir because now you're going to learn because you got to learn how to control your anger if you're that angry to put out some revenge you know, orn out there on your baby mother at that, you need some help. You need to go to anger management, sir. Because if you can't control your anger and you're doing spiteful things on the internet where everybody can see, imagine what you could do behind closed doors. And I said what I said. So let me know how y'all feel about this. Do you think that Carmen is going to go back to Corey once again? Or do you think that this is the final straw? I think that Corey has been spiraling out for a very long time trying to bash Carmen online. Now, I know Carmen is not perfect because we've seen her get physical with Corey before. And I don't know what he did behind closed doors. I just feel like he's a narcissist and most of them make them be out to be the victim and have you doing all this stupid stuff because they feel like they had the control over you and stuff like that. So, I don't know. But, yeah, they had a toxic relationship or whatever. But, Corey is doing things out of anger and that is not healthy at all okay i feel like uh i believe everything that carmen said now i know Car Corey has some things in his phone and some things that he needs to put out there on carmen i understand but at the end of the day i guess it's gonna be a back and forth exposing um segment with them too until you know something is figured out through the courts because this is gonna get messy krishan rock so she's currently in in prison, jail, whatever, right? So her Twitter has been posting things. And I'm just letting y'all know right now, I am not talking about nothing posted over there on the Twitter until she comes out. Because I don't know who is behind the page. I don't know if it's her. I don't know who is behind the page. And it's a lot of Bitcoin and um uh all this stuff crypto all these things that's happening that wasn't happening before all of a sudden she's talking about i don't know if she's introduced to that and she's trying to 
go that route for money i don't know but at the end of the day i'm just letting y'all know i'm not talking about nothing over there on that twitter until she come out the only reason why i talked about blue face is because blue face actually had um audios interviews and posts and stuff like that from him you know what i'm saying that you know it was him because he um expressed it okay just like he can express it i feel like she could come out and express things get an audio out let something be known or whatever i don't know what's going on over there but let me know how y'all feel about it do you think that krishan is behind that twitter account that's posting right now um or who do you think is behind it mariah lynn okay so y'all know that mariah lynn speaks her mind or whatever she always into something though right so this time, Mariah Lynn wants to fight Anna Mack because she claims that Anna Mack put hands on her mother. Now, her mother has been inserting herself, you know, I just feel like her daughter is old enough to, you know, deal with her own mess that she put herself in. So for the mother allegedly running up on Anna and the aunt and they was trying to jump Anna, according to Anna, they was trying to jump her. So if Anna had to defend herself... Somebody mother gonna get knocked out. That's just how it is. Somebody mother, sister, un- uncle, grandma. That's just how people are. You're not gonna put your hands on people and think that you can get away with it. Especially somebody's mother. You having beef with the daughter and the mother and sir herself trying to jump you with the aunt and you're not supposed to hit none of them or defend yourself? Um, no. Now, y'all know that Anna, um basically is gonna express herself i like anna i anna is a firecracker she speaks her mind um and she really keeps to herself but she's just like a goofball you know she just seems like fun um but at the end of the day we're gonna get into this video so let's get into it man fell out because i'm not a weird bitch i don't realize i told him right i don't like that weird shit so your mother trying to fight me and this and that like i don't play like that everybody know Y'all don't know, but Tzatziki, Biggie, and Mariah, everybody knows what it was. Everybody in that house knew what it was. So all that shit was weird to me. That's why Tzatziki stood up. That's why y'all don't know. So I'm not a weird bitch. This TV shit, I'm funny. I don't even like to fight. I like to be funny. I like to be funny. And I don't fight people that I say I love. I don't fight people that's been in my crib. I don't fight people that I tell my business to or you've been in my crib. I'm definitely not fighting. My sister, so all this weird shit. Like, I don't even want to watch the rest of the season. Cause I'm not joking with y'all. That shit was not fucking bad for me. That shit wasn't the vibe for me. None of that shit is the vibe for me. And I'm not a weird bitch, so. She disrespected your mother, but why is your mother running up on someone that's not even half her age? Why Mariah family always involved every season? Exactly. Um, honestly, I don't understand why Mariah keep fighting every time she fights with someone. She always gets destroyed. So I can't get with her anymore. She needs to go seriously. Okay, so some people is tired of Mariah Lynn. Why your mama running up on her though? Anyways, I got Anna. I got Anna, but Anna did say she wasn't able to fight. How she usually does because her face um so she kept having to look to the side if you kept seeing that she turned her head to the side she keeps talking about her mom being disrespected that f do you think is gonna happen if she running up on people she keep trying to defend her mama and constantly keep getting beat the f up didn't mariah mom or sister get involved in some stuff last season too mariah mother ran up on anna did she expect anna not to fight back mature enough to admit that i've had some toxic traits myself I treated people bad when I wasn't happy. I've hurt people because I was hurting. Owning up to being the bad guy is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, but I'm working on me and being better. Now, this is Mariah Lynn's recent post. I got the man I want. I'm happy. Bye. I quietly remove myself from situations now. I'm not over explaining myself. I'm not going back and forth. I'm not looking for closure. I'm not causing a scene. Nothing. You'll just never hear from me again. I'm done overextending myself for others. And I understand where she's coming from. Now, when I say that is, if you're genuine and stuff like this, and you're building friendship, or if you have family and stuff like that, or whatever the case may be, it's always something going on. Now, if you really feel that way, then you will really remove yourself or remove people from your life that's really causing you to feel this way. Okay, and every single time, it doesn't seem that way. So I'm sorry, Mariah, but it doesn't seem like you're trying to close your circle or change yourself. 
Not in a quite bit, because if so, you wouldn't even be doing half the things that you'll be doing right now, especially not for a camera time. Okay, but anyway, let me know how y'all feel about this. Do you think that Anna or Mariah Lynn is the right one in this situation? Okay. <phone rings> updates, y'all. So we got some updates. Okay, so the updates we are going to be talking about, let's just get into it. Bad baby. If you care, if you'll leave that man, he will abuse you in front of her. Bad baby said, I wasn't going to speak on this, but who said I was staying? What about that post made y'all think that I'm staying because I said I love him? Because I said he's going to get help? I'm so confused, and apparently so are y'all. So according to Bad Baby, she's not going back to her baby daddy, okay? Because that would really be looking up, okay? Most most of the times, it was just like, okay, so why do you come on the internet and try to expose this person? It seems like you're needing help and seeking help. But then you turn around and just recant everything. I understand it's a fear. I understand it's like, what can I do now? Like, what might happen now? I understand that. But just move, move quietly on your end, like in your personal life. Because once you go on the end today, you already know he was going to see it, okay? But according to her, she's not going back. So we shall see how this is going to end. Gypsy Rose and her new husband are expecting a baby, okay? So we're going to get into some of the comments. We're going to get into some video clips um, and some other things regarding Gypsy Rose. And what she felt the internet is doing a little bit too much on. Okay. I am 11 weeks pregnant. Ken and I are expecting our very first child come January of 2025. We're both very excited. This was not planned at all. It was completely unexpected, but we're both very excited to take on this new journey of parenthood and all of the things that I wished I could have had when I was little. Now, there also was a person on TikTok that went past the house that Gypsy lived in where the heavy thing happened. Gypsy said, y'all have no respect or decency. A tragedy happened in that house, yet y'all visit it as if it was the Grand Canyon. So they made like, um, this is not a, you know, a little attraction for y'all, like a historical attraction. Um, leave her house alone is not a tourist attraction. I wish everyone would stop talking about her as a whole. Really, stop giving her clout. Um, she's so right. People are so insensitive and weird. She's right. Those people need to stop being weird. Okay. Um, I get what she's saying, and it's weird to post it online, but it seems pretty harmless to me to look at the house um from afar after learning what happened. I don't know. I feel horrible for her. People don't care about anybody's feelings nowadays, and that is true. Okay. Um, laughing my butt off, ironic when all she's done since she got out is make a public spectacle of herself while agreed people need to stop being weird. I just can't take her seriously. To be honest, her algorithm probably shows her this constantly and is likely a trigger PTSD. Um, the tragedy she created. I think the bigger tragedy is how she was a and kept it in that house for years under the control of her uh you know her abusive mother maybe that's why she feels uncomfortable about people gawking at the house she was you know violated in um she's the reason the tragedy happened what you mean a tragedy you orchestrated but a tragedy nevertheless a tragedy happened in that house yes the one you orchestrated and should still be in jail for it I would be embarrassing saying it's a tragedy that happened in there, which is true, but because it's a tragedy that she played a part in. Now, that is true. Now, it was wrong for what her mother did to her and what she had to endure, okay? But if you are that calculated and have somebody else plan out your own mother's uh, murder, then there's something going on over there, okay? I understand that. Oh, whatever. I just feel like it could have been a different way. She could have tried to escape. She should she should have tried to get help somewhere else. I understand that nothing was being done at the time, so maybe she felt that's the only thing that could happen to free herself. But I just feel like there's other ways to do that. I just feel like if you have that mom mentality to really plan out somebody's, you know, unaliving, then that speaks volumes, and you can't really be upset because that is. That is, that's your history. That is, that is how people know you. So people are going to still talk about it forever. That's just how it is.
Cardi B in Paris. They were her and Offset was out there with the kids at the Disney in Paris, and people kept talking about her wobble, baby waddle 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 waddle. Yeah, so people kept talking about her walk. Oh, that's the pregnancy walk and everything else. But her and Offset and the kids is having a good old time. Um, they know a lot of people be all up in their business talking about their marriage and who he cheated with and why she did and. Do, do, do. But it seems like they're, you know, trying to get it together. Um, They're married. And I just feel like a lot of the uh, relationships never work. It's always a divorce in five seconds. It's always a breakup in, like, 20 seconds. It's always something. So if they want to, you know, stay together and just deal with whatever, then that's going to be on them. Okay? But they also was talking about Cardi B bag and everything else, how it's big and everything else. But let me know down in the comments below. Do you think that she's pregnant? I love seeing Mommy B. All right, big ass Chanel. That purse is large. Yeah, people kept talking about the purse. Um, she looks so pretty pregnant. That pregnant glow is something else. Okay, so everybody is putting their foot down, and this is just it. She pregnant to people. But like I said before, if she's pregnant, congratulations to her. It'll be baby number three with the same baby daddy, and congratulations. <laughs> like. What do you want people to really, why Why do really people care that she's really pregnant, really having, like, um, a crisis about it? Like, I just can't get it for the life of me. But anyway, like I said, congratulations to her, if it is true. But anyway, let's get into some quick little recap on everything. All right. Carmen and this whole Corey situation. Like I said, I could tell that they was a toxic couple, but I could t also tell that Carmen, because even Corey said it out his mouth on the Tasha K interview, that Carmen was not like this when he met her. The things he did changed her and got her to the point that where she is right now. So whatever actions or whatever that she dealt with or changed from herself, it's because of Corey. And sometimes that can happen if you let a person, you know, drain you out. That's what's going to happen. But I feel that Corey is a narcissist. I feel like he's a pathological liar. I just feel like he always played victim. He always trying to bash Carmen. Um, putting those pictures out there of her, exposing her like that just showed true character to me, in my opinion. Um, because don't nobody that really loves somebody that had kids with somebody that really truly loved them is not going to expose their body and try to bash them and talk about a whole bunch of other things trying to prove a point that could not be proven. Posting those pictures did not prove anything. First of all, he hid the girl face that was in the bed. We didn't even know who, if that was the best friend that, um, he tried to talk about some, oh, oh, you talking about me and your best friend, that, oh, me and your friend, and this is her in the bed. I'm pretty sure Carmen have a couple of friends. We don't know who that is. We don't know if that's a random girl. We don't know. So his point was not proven. But I guess on his YouTube, he's going to explain everything or put some things out. And I guess we're going to be talking about it when he does. But like I said, I hope Carmen really moves forward, do what she has to do with her kids. Don't look back. Because if he want to use the kids as a excuse, okay, because that's what it is. A lot of the times, y'all be thinking baby mothers be better. It be the baby fathers, okay? Trying to use the kids as spawns to try to get around the baby mother, okay? It happened to me, okay? my baby daddy decided that he all want to see a cat. I want to see my daughter. I want to see my daughter. And then when I come and meet you so you can spend time with your daughter, you want to talk about my business and what I'm doing and who I'm with and this and that and this and that. Oh, you want to talk a family and stuff like that? Knowing damn well, it's not going to happen. So, yes, it does happen out here. So it's not always the baby mothers that be better and doing the most. It be the baby daddies, believe it or not. Okay, and I just feel like um, Corey is one of those. He got the money. He got the fame. The shit got to his head. And now that Carmen is, you know, party ways or whatever and the internet is on her side, he wants to do the most to try to get the people on his side because that's what he really cares about. He cares about his image, okay? That's what it all boils down to, in my opinion. But anyway, I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, to the loose bit. Bye! Ooh, shawty, you tried it. Voice getting filled with entitlement. Why would you tell me those lies?